Remember the story of David and Goliath? A small shepherd boy takes on a giant warrior. That's what just happened in the world of tech. Google, the Goliath of the internet, just lost a major legal battle to the U.S. Department of Justice. This case has massive implications for all of us who use the internet. It's about power, control, and the future of the digital world. This case isn't just about legal technicalities. It's about fairness, innovation, and the very fabric of the internet. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Did Google, a company many of us rely on daily, become too powerful? Did they misuse their power to stifle competition and harm consumers? Get ready to explore the courtroom drama, the high stakes, and what it all means for you. It's time to understand this landmark case and its potential to reshape the digital landscape as we know it. Imagine a world where one company controls the information you see, the products you buy, and even the news you read. This isn't a dystopian future. It's a reality that many experts fear is already here. Big tech companies like Google have become so ingrained in our daily lives that it's hard to imagine a world without them. From the moment we wake up and check our phones to the time we go to bed, Google is there, influencing our decisions and shaping our perceptions. Experts argue that these tech giants have grown too large and powerful, creating an ecosystem where competition struggles to survive. They point out that Google's dominance in Search and advertising has given it unprecedented control over the flow of information. This control extends beyond just what we see in search results. It affects the news we read, the products we buy, and even the opinions we form. The concern is that this level of control stifles innovation and limits consumer choice. The U.S. Department of Justice has decided to step into the ring, accusing Google of using its dominance to unfairly crush competitors. This legal battle is not just about one company. It's about the future of the Internet itself. The stakes are incredibly high. Think of it like a referee blowing the whistle on a player for using illegal tactics to win the game. The government is essentially saying that Google has been playing dirty and now it's time to level the playing field. The allegations are serious. The Department of Justice claims that Google has been using its market power to maintain its monopoly in search and search advertising. This includes practices like paying to be the default search engine on browsers and mobile devices, making it nearly impossible for competitors to gain a foothold. This isn't just a fight between Google and the government. It's a battle for the future of the Internet. Will we have a diverse and competitive digital landscape, or will a few powerful companies control it all? The outcome of this legal battle could reshape the digital world as we know it. If the government succeeds, it could lead to more competition, more innovation, and more choices for consumers. But if Google prevails, it could solidify its position as the gatekeeper of the Internet with even more power to influence our lives. Buckle up, because this legal. Battle is far from over. It's a clash of titans with billions of dollars and the fate of the Internet hanging in the balance. The decisions made in this courtroom could set precedents that will affect not just Google but all tech companies and ultimately all of us who use the internet every day. The lawsuit revolves around antitrust laws. These laws are designed to maintain fair competition in the marketplace and prevent any one company from gaining too much power. These laws exist to prevent companies from becoming monopolies and abusing their power. They ensure that businesses compete on a level playing field, which ultimately benefits consumers by providing more choices and better prices. The government argued that Google used its dominance in search to give its own products and services an unfair advantage, pushing competitors out of the market. This means that when you search for something online, Google's own services are more likely to appear. At the top of the results, even if other services might be more relevant or better suited to your needs, imagine a supermarket chain that also owns a bakery. If this supermarket places its own bakery products in the most prominent positions, it can make it difficult for other bakeries to compete, even if their products are of higher quality or better value. 
Now imagine this supermarket placing its own bread right at the front of the store, making it harder for you to find and buy bread from other bakeries. This is similar to what Google is accused of doing online with its search engine. That's similar to what Google is accused of doing online. By prioritizing its own services and search results, Google can effectively limit the visibility of competing services, making it harder for them to attract users and grow their businesses. This case goes beyond search. It also examines how Google displays information, ranks websites, and controls the flow of online advertising. The way Google manages these aspects can have a significant impact on other businesses and the overall digital economy. It delves into how Google displays information, ranks websites, and controls the flow of online advertising. For example, if Google favors its own advertising services over those of competitors, it can make it difficult for other companies to reach potential customers. The government claims that Google's actions limit consumer choice and stifle innovation in the digital space. When one company has too much control, it can prevent new ideas and technologies from emerging, which can ultimately harm consumers and the economy as a whole. This lawsuit is a major test of antitrust laws in the digital age. It raises important questions about how to regulate powerful tech companies and ensure that they do not abuse their dominance to the detriment of consumers and competitors. How do you apply century-old laws to the fast-paced, ever-evolving world of the Internet? This is a complex challenge, as the digital landscape is constantly changing and traditional legal frameworks may not always be well-suited to address new issues that arise. That's the question at the heart of this legal battle. As technology continues to advance, it will be crucial to find ways to adapt our legal systems to ensure that they can effectively address the unique challenges posed by the digital age. This case could set a precedent for how antitrust laws are applied to tech companies in the future, shaping the landscape of the digital economy for years to come. One of the key accusations against Google is that it manipulates search results to favor its own products and services. This means that when you search for something, Google's algorithms might prioritize its own offerings over potentially more relevant or cost-effective options from other providers. Imagine searching for a product online and Google only showing you results from its own shopping platform, even if cheaper or better options are available elsewhere. This practice can lead to a skewed marketplace where consumers are not presented with the best possible choices, ultimately affecting their purchasing decisions. The government argues that this behavior harms consumers by limiting their choices and potentially costing them more. When consumers are not given a full range of options, they may end up paying higher prices or settling for lower quality products. This manipulation of search results can have a ripple effect impacting consumer trust and market fairness. It also hurts smaller businesses that struggle to compete with Google's massive reach and resources. Small businesses often rely on search engines to drive traffic to their websites, and if Google's algorithms favor its own services, these businesses may find it difficult to attract customers. This can stifle innovation and reduce the diversity of available products and services. Another accusation is that Google forces smartphone manufacturers to pre-install Google apps on their devices, making it harder for competing apps to gain traction. This practice can limit consumer choice and stifle competition in the app market. Imagine buying a new phone, and it only comes with Google Maps. While Google Maps is a popular and widely used navigation app, there are many other navigation apps available that might offer features better suited to individual needs. You might never bother trying another navigation app, even if it's better suited to your needs. This lack of exposure to alternative apps can prevent consumers from discovering potentially superior products and services. These are just some of the allegations leveled against Google. The company's dominance in various digital markets has raised concerns about its influence and the fairness of its business practices. The government believes that these practices violate antitrust laws and harm competition in the digital marketplace. Antitrust laws are designed to promote fair competition and prevent monopolistic behavior that can harm consumers and other businesses. By allegedly engaging in these practices, Google is accused of undermining the principles of a competitive market, which can have far-reaching consequences for the economy and society as a whole. The outcome of these antitrust allegations could set a significant precedent for how tech giants operate in the future. It could lead to stricter regulations and more oversight to ensure that no single company can unfairly dominate the market.
This case is not just about Google, it's about the broader implications for the tech industry and the digital economy. As consumers and businesses, it's crucial to stay informed about these issues and understand how they can impact our daily lives. The resolution of these allegations will shape the future of digital competition and innovation, influencing how we interact with technology and access information. The legal battles ahead will be closely watched by industry experts, policymakers, and the public. The decisions made in this case will resonate beyond Google, potentially affecting other tech companies and the regulatory landscape for years to come. In the end, the goal is to create a fair and competitive digital marketplace where innovation thrives, consumers have choices, and businesses of all sizes can compete on a level playing field. The antitrust allegations against Google are a pivotal moment in this ongoing effort to balance power and fairness in the tech industry. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.